Video 51. Well, I guess I'm a little overdue for a big an update here, so uh, let's uh, take a look at a few things. Uh, first off, the body is off the car. It's out uh, at the paint shop finally, so should have that back in a couple of weeks. And um, but taking the opportunity in the meantime to fix up a few things that I, you know, should have done a little better maybe, and um, a few corrections, additions. Uh, so under the under the hood here, it's been much easier to get at the wiring, and of course under the behind the dashboard there as well. So I finally got my radio in place and working, which is nice, a little CD player. And I want to mount the speakers here. It's tough to find a good spot to mount the speakers in this car. There's not a whole lot of room in anywhere. So I um, also did a little bit of improvement in some of the wiring out back here where the, you can see the, uh, the Manzanita charger there and uh, AC wiring and then the DC side where uh, the 12 volt battery and the DC to DC uh, main kill switch over there. Uh, hidden underneath and then uh, some terminal blocks to, to kind of pull it all together. Um, I also wanted putting in a, uh, <clears throat> been marking out on the console where the shifter is going to go in. The transmission should be going in here pretty soon. Um, so I'm going to mount the shifter right there. Seems like about the right spot. And I've also added a uh, another gauge. It's a, uh, a motor motor temperature gauge so I can keep an eye on motor temperature um, as the car is running. And I've got a sensor that you can take a look at in the motor. So also, I have decided to um, put in the motor and transmission. This uh, blue motor is a, uh, a custom-built motor by Dennis Barabee, so it should be a, an awesome racing motor. And I've got that hooked up to a, uh, a EV glide, uh, which is a converted power glide uh, done by Kansas EV. So I've got these two pieces all bolted up now and uh, kind of ready to do some testing on it. You can see uh, the output yoke there in the back of the transmission. And uh, the linkage is hooked up uh, over to a shift knob here over on the on the workbench, but uh, that does the trick. So I thought I'd give this thing a little spin tonight, and uh, we'll see how this guy runs. So I'll go ahead and throw this switch, and uh, we'll see the we'll see the motor get going, and the uh, we'll maybe just watch the output here, I guess. So she starts up in low gear right now, and if I come over and give this guy a little shift here. So I get everything in the picture, we're right to high high speed. So you can hear that thing sounds pretty nice and quiet and smooth running. Uh, can't run it too long, I, the uh, output yoke's trying to climb its way out, so need to push that back in. But, but besides that, she's running good, all the gears work, and uh, it's spinning. I think it needs a little bit of a break in time. The, the amps, I've been monitoring amps on this thing, so the amps are, are slowly coming down as I, I've got about maybe a minute of run time on it now. Um, so, anyways, the next thing I uh, should be trying to work on is trying to get this uh, new drivetrain into the car. <clears throat> so I know I've got some challenges there. I'm going to take the old one out and I've got to probably open this battery tray up uh, a little bit to move the the motor and everything forward because it's a whole lot longer assembly now. But uh, anyways, uh, we should be driving with a new motor and transmission here shortly, hopefully. Stay tuned.